Well, hello and welcome to my tutorial on the really dangerous and deadly task of using a form as a parent for the development of other forms in Visual Studio. We're going to use um, C Sharp for this particular example. Um, often we're given um, a task as programmers uh, where we have a number of forms we have to create um, and they look fairly similar. Um, an OK button here, a, a, a cancel button there, and maybe some branding or something, and fun functionality. OK, so what I've done is I've made just a generic Windows form application, and um, here's my, my form I'm going to start with, and we'll kick off by adding a new item, a new Windows form, and we'll call it parent form. Cool. Go add. And what we'll do is go to the toolbox, and put a button here, put another button here, and just for branding's sake, we will put in a picture box. We will choose an image, local import, cat. I like that one. I flogged that from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let me just do a bit of resizing. Um, I'm going to change the background properties of the form. I'm going to change the background color anyway. Background color to dark. And I'm going to change the uh, colors of the background colors of the buttons to the standard control color. Um, so in essence, that's a good place to start. Now I'll just give some buttons, some of the buttons, some uh, some properties and so forth. I'll call this BTN cancel. And uh, it's probably a good idea if we made it say cancel too. And we'll go with this one, BTN, we'll go this one, the OK button, OK. And we scroll up, and we go BTN, OK. Cool, uh, let's see, we'll try uh, double clicking on it, and we will go um, system.windows.forms, forms message box. Cancel cell this is hit and this is just um, just grab and copy that and this is just giving it some code that makes it look like it's doing something. Button hit cool. Okay, so we build that and we've got two errors. Well have we got that? Windows.systems.form.messagebox.show See, we make mistakes when we're doing stuff. Build, and OK, that's cool. All right, so that, if we go back to our Solution Explorer, is our parent form, and it's just got our branding and a couple of buttons with do th which do things. All right, now, if I go to our original form, uh, we'll go Show Parent Form. We'll go um, parent, parent Form. Form equals new parent, oops, parent form. And form dot show, which will show our parent form. So we run it. Uh, show parent form. There it is. It pops up. Oh, cancel button hit. The OK button's hit. So that works pretty well. Cool. Just kill that. Now we need to add our inherited form, because this is what this uh, tutorial is all about. So if we go to Windows application, we go add a new item, and we go inherited form this time. OK, as opposed to Windows form, it's inherited form. We uh, will call this um, inherited form. The inherited inherited form, probably better. And uh, now we need to choose which form we're going to inherit from. Now, if we hadn't built, we wouldn't have anything here to choose from. But because we have done a build, we have the two forms which we already have to choose from. And I'm going to choose parent form in this case. Click OK. Now, double click on inherited form here, you can see that it hold, already holds the same controls and layout and colors as the parent form. Okay, the only difference is you see these little locks and little arrows. If I click on those little locks, I can't. If I try and click on it and drag it, I can't actually move it anywhere. Okay, so if I run this, okay, um, I won't be able to show it because I haven't actually added the code to show it. So the inherited form form equals new inherited form 
form.show. Ah, show. Uh, you're probably breaking all sorts of uh, naming conventions there, but I really don't care. Show inherited form. Click, and there we go. It definitely showed it. Right, so if we stop our application, which is here, we go into our inherited form, double click on the cancel button, and we can't actually do anything. Okay, so we have just exactly the same functionality as we had before. Um, I want to add some more functionality. I'm going to add a text box. Drag, drop it across. That looks pretty good. Um, let's properties. Let's make it multi-line. Multi-line down here to true. Then we can just resize it. That's pretty cool. Let's give it some text. Where's my text? Uh, this is my text box. Mm, yeah, Mondo owes me beer because he does. Cool. So if I run this, okay, here's the parent form. Here's my inherited form. Cool. Now, what if I want to move the OK buttons and move things around and, and rename things? Well, what I need to do is I need to come to the uh, designer file of the parent form and I need to go and find the controls of interest. Now, you can see they're marked private. We just want to change these to protected. And then we will be able to build and we will find we will be, there you go, we have to move things about. So we'll move this here and here for fun. And uh, we don't like the title on this form, so we should be able to change the properties. Title inherited to an inherited form. Cool. Okay. Um, and um, maybe I don't like the text, so I can go system. Okay, system dot windows dot forms dot message box dot show. The link from our mistake earlier. Show inherited cancel click button click. Cool. So build it builds. We run the application. Okay, show the parent form. Cancel button hit. Cool. Get rid of that. Show the inherited form, go cancel, cancel button hit. Ah, you see? So both code gets run. So the inherited form has to run the uh, parent form when you run the code. Cool, and that's about the end of my story. Have a groovy day.